Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Mike's 84 Corvette. Today, I'm gonna try and work on fixing a pesky rattle right after this. So hey guys, uh, this is the project I'm trying to do today. Sorry for the shadows, maybe it'll come on this side. Anyway, window rattles. There's probably something inside. And before I had a YouTube channel, I replaced the uh, this window sweep, hoping that it would fix the rattle, but as you can see, it did not. And up here, unfortunately, part of the door, uh, plastic inside the door broke. So this is not perfect, but getting another inside door panel is not in the budget right now. But what I want to do is take this off and replace the anti-rattle, um, whatever you call them, anti-rattle brackets, grommets, whatever. I've got them over here and I'll show you what they are. All right, so this is what I have. I've got these, uh, I got these from Mid America Motor Works. I don't even remember when, a while ago. I don't even know why I got them from here. Maybe they were cheap, who knows, but suggested installation instructions for 6982, 84, rattle window, cushion, set of four. I'm assuming two per side, so I only need two. But the funny thing is, installation for 69. 77 Corvettes, great. Insulation for 78 to 82 Corvettes, great. Insulation for 84 96 Corvettes, please consult service manual, which I did, and there are no instructions there. So, I have taken a door panel off before. Shouldn't be too hard. And uh, it's just a bunch of screws, it pulls up. And then uh, we'll see where those anti-rattle cushions are. I know they're probably, it's probably up here, behind here somewhere. So let me get to unscrewing all this and uh, see what we can find. All right, so I got the uh, the outer edge um, screws out, but now it's like this door handle stuff that's got to come off. And there's one, two, I know there's two in here which are already loosen out. And one here, one, two, three. And I know there's one hiding back there. So let me get those out and uh, see how close we are to getting this door panel off. So it's loosening up and the other thing you have to do is take off the uh, lock handle or lock switch here which just pops out and pulls out so this isn't in the way when you pull everything off. But one thing that I should do before we go any further is unhook the battery. So let me go do that and then we'll get back to this. 
All right, I just want to show you what I did here. So I unhooked the battery because the lights were on. Uh, all the screws are, I took out these two screws. I'm not sure if they really hold it in, but I took them out anyway. But now it's basically a matter of just pulling up the door, the door, um, the inside door uh, cover here. And there we go, it's off. Now I am not going to unhook anything in here because I don't need to take anything else off. What I want to do is, see there's, right here is one of the anti-rattles and there's another one right there. They look pretty good though. I don't know what's going on here. But let's uh, take this one off and we'll take this one off and we'll put the new ones in. Maybe those are just shot. All right, let's see. So I ended up taking the door panel off because I took this this anti-rattle one off. This is the old one. And of course, as I was unscrewing it, it fell way down, way down in there. But luckily, I got a, uh, got this nice long light slash magnet, which I fished it out, but I got it out. And I just want to show you guys, hold on one sec, I gotta mount this camera. So what I've got here is, this is the old one, and this is the new one. I mean, to me, the new one looks maybe a little fluffier. I don't know, but uh, I'm going to put this one in and we'll see if uh, we can get this rattling and it goes right back in here. Luckily the screw is uh, captured on the back there, which is good because otherwise that would be nearly impossible. I mean, or much, much bigger job. But uh, let me uh, put that in there. Hopefully it'll push this part of the window out. Stop it from uh, rattling. So let me see if I can get that going. All right, so here's where I'm at. So I got the old one out, like I told you. And um, yeah, it's a pain in the neck to put the new one in. The new one's a little bit bigger, but uh, it's in there. And unfortunately, I used my fingers to slide it in and then get it up in there. And it fell seven or eight times down inside the door panel. I fished it out with a magnet, luckily. Um, but the door seems, or the window seems to be less rattly, but what I think I'm going to do too is this spot right here looks pretty ripe for another one just to help with any other rattling. So I think this one might be easier to put in as well. So I'm going to put this one in too and uh, I'm going to spare you my dropping. So let me put this one in and then we'll take a look at how the window goes up and down and see how the rattling is. So just hold on one sec. Okay, so I added another one here. Got that one there, that one there. This is the old one, which I left. I just tightened up. Um, so here we go. Now I'm 
sitting in the car. The window is definitely tighter in the opening, but it's not rattling as much. Maybe that's about as good as it's gonna get until I put the uh, door panel back in. But I think that's as far as I'm gonna go right now. Let's put the door panel back on and see uh, how it sounds. Okay, well, it's all buttoned back up. I'll put it back together, all the screws back in. Everything seems to be okay. Um, hopefully, there's still a little rattle somewhere deep in the door, but I'm not worried about that right now. Mostly it was the window that was rattling around that was bothering me. So let me hook up the battery and uh, see how everything works. Okay, well, battery's hooked up, as you can tell by the light being on. Window's about half open. It's better, it's not perfect. I don't know if the window actually can get any tighter. I think maybe it's just the fact that this door panel is broken in places underneath and uh, like even over here it's broken I don't know eventually I think I'm gonna need a new inner door panel because it's just it's old and it's sort of brittle and uh, the plastics cracking here and there but everything's back Everything hooked back up. It does seem sturdier. It goes up and down, no problem. Well, I'm gonna call this a sort of win, sort of victory. I'll take it for a ride and see how it rattles on the road. But overall, I think it's better. Not perfect, but better. Anyway, thanks so much, guys, for watching. I hope uh, you learned something. Maybe I helped you a little bit. Anyway, I will see you next time. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Talk to you later. Bye. Anyway, guys, a little uh, addendum epilogue to the whole window ride. I'll take the car for a ride, and it's a little better. Not as good as I'd hoped. Um, I have no idea must be something deeper inside the door that's um, rattling. So anyway, if anyone has any ideas as to what it could be, just let me know in the comments below. Um, it's probably going to take a deeper dive to get into, in there. Maybe just something's loose, but uh, I'll take the door open again. Anyway, let me know if you have any ideas. Thanks for watching.